Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to do an unboxing. Lots of people like to do watch unboxing. So I do it, I know some people don't like it, but you know, you never have to watch anything that I put on. But I do do this for the people that do like it. Now this unboxing is from the company called Hobby. Now Hobby is based in Denmark. Okay, it's not Hobium, it's Hobby. And it's a very good yarn company. I bought from them many, many times. Um, I've never, I've never had a problem with them. The, sl the shipping can be a little slow. Um, they do ship lots of places though. Um, you know, but from Denmark to the U S it's usually for me in my experience, 10 to 14 days, but I can live with that because the shipping's pretty cheap. It's free. I'm going to talk about U S cause I'm not sure about other countries, but it's free. Um, in the U.S. if you spend $75 or more, but if you don't, it's only $6.95 flat rate. So you really can't beat that. My only downfall though is with Hobby and with any yarn company is I don't like when yarn companies ship in bags, especially ones like, you know, that travel from far distance. I can't stand it. I don't even like it when Michaels and stuff do that. Um, they do do it sometimes. The reason being is because your yarn gets all smashed up and the bag always gets ripped open. It's, it's just me being finicky, but that's really one of my pet peeves is about any yarn company is I hate it when they ship in a bag and Hobby always has shipped to me in bags. And I, that's the one thing that I really dislike. If there was one thing I would have to say that I disliked about their company, that would be it. Other than that, I don't have no problem with them. But see, it gets ripped open all the time and stuff, and I just don't like it. But let's open this up and see. So, like I said, it's usually to the U.S. 10 to 14 days. But they usually have some pretty nice yarns on their website. If you're not familiar with them, I'll put. I'm not affiliated with, affiliated with them. Um, um, I bought all this myself, my own money. And um, they don't know I'm making any videos, and I do not have affiliated links, so I don't care if you buy their yarn. You know, I don't make no money if you buy it or anything. I'm just, I just buy from yarn companies and show you guys, and then eventually the yarn usually ends up in a giveaway because that's just what I do on my channel. So they had some new yarns, and then they had some yarns that I have here, but they had different colors in them, and some yarns I like to collect colors. Um, so let's start out with. Um, now, this is their cookie yarn. Let me see if I can find a, uh, how much this stuff costs. Now, some of this stuff was on sale, so it may not be uh, the sale price when you look, but, um, uh, it doesn't have the price. I'm going to give you my best guess to what I remember it is, okay? Okay, so I have bought this before, and I've unboxed it before and showed you. This is their cookie yarn. Now, I got this at the time. It was $7, I think, a cake. Um, it is very similar to Red Heart It's a Wrap or a Lion Brand Ferris Wheel. Super similar to that type of yarn. But they had some new colors in it. It says it's a bulky five. It's not a bulky five. It's like a four-way yarn. Okay. Um, it's 100% acrylic. And... Well, I don't know the yardage on it. It doesn't show it. Um, Okay, so 600 meters, so probably 650 yards would be my guess um, in one of these balls or one of these cakes. So that's, it's not bad. That's their sale price, $7. Now, when it's not on sale, it's quite a bit more than that. I noticed that, that about Hobby is you want to wait for their sales because otherwise their yarn is, <laughs> is pretty expensive. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I bought it when it was on sale. Still is at the moment, but at the making of this video. But if you guys watch it a long time from now, it probably won't be. But it does go on sale quite often. It's seven twenty, regular thirteen ninety. Never pay thirteen ninety for it. That's way too much. But seven twenty is not bad. I've even gotten it. I think around six dollars before. But anyways, 
the collar, this collar is uh, collar 46206, which is called Cloudy. 656 yards. Well, I was pretty close. So that's the color cloudy. Just remember, though, that it's going to say bulky five on their website. It is not a bulky five. You can tell by looking at it. That's like a four weight yarn. So they just had new colors in it. I have quite a few of these at home, but I wanted to get their new colors that they that they had. Um, there's that one. That is pretty. It's so similar to Red Heart. It's a wrap. It is. It's just got a lot, a lot more yardage. So this one is called Candy. It's a pretty color. And this one is called Heather. That's pretty. I like that. I like the cookie yarn. I think it's very pretty. Oh, I like that one too. That's pretty. This is just called burgundy. It's not really burgundy. I think it's more like a Christmas red color, but it's pretty. Nonetheless, it's very, very pretty. I should have got two of those, but that's definitely enough to make a hat and scarf set. This one is called... Nostal nostal nostalgia. Pretty. Some of these colors are identical to the ones that are uh, Red Heart is a wrap. They're like the same colors and everything. <laughs> See, that's why I hate it when they ship in sacks. You get busted labels and stuff. I hate busted labels. I really do. It's a pet peeve of mine too. So this one is it's called... Uh, I know, I'm probably being too picky. Flowery, flowery, lurry, fl flowery, I can't say it. Like a flower, and then E-R-Y, flowery. Busted label on that one. And then I got one more color. I actually, this was my favorite. This one was so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's called mustard. That is Beautiful. I'm making a poncho out of this. I got three of these, so I would have enough to make a poncho. That is so pretty. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I think I got three. I did. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's not, uh, I said it's 100% acrylic. It's not itchy just acrylic it does have like a fuzz to it like it would be kind of like wool but it's not it's man that is some pretty pretty yarn you guys are probably not liking it but i love i like mustard color and it's pretty with the black but if they would have paired that with the dark brown oh that would have been unbeatable but it's still beautiful with the black so that's all the cookies that was the new colors of the cookie yarn that they had okay then they had this new yarn here i didn't know what to expect getting this um, so this is called Easy Knit, 53 wool, 47 acrylic. Now, um, it, it's new, like I said, 87 yards. It's a, I guess it's a six weight. I don't know why. I thought this, when I looked at the picture, I thought it was going to be one of them big bulky skeins of yarn, but it's not. It's, it's small. Um. So it's it's really not what I expected, but it's it's really pretty. Not itchy. I think it'll make something really pretty. 87 yards it is it is a thick bulky six too. It's a thicker weight of a bulky six. Um, it does look like though that it goes from thick to thin. It's a chain chain spun yarn. And if you, I can tell by looking at it, if you have not ever heard of that, uh, you can look it up and see what it's about. But those are nice yarns, ones that are chain spun. I actually like this. Um, I do. Um, but like I said, this is one of their new yarns and it was on sale when I bought it. Okay, so this was on sale when I bought it, I think, because it's one of their newer yarns. Um, it was 880 skein. That's on sale. Now that is, I think, a little pricey 
but not on sale. It's twelve forty nine. That's a definite no go. Um, I think I paid that because I was expecting a bigger skein. I don't really know what I was expecting. Maybe, you know, like the square jumbo skeins you see. But that's okay. I still like it. And if I buy it again, I'm going to make sure that it's cheaper than $8 before, before I buy it again. They have lots of pretty colors in it. Um, this one is called a Sapphire. But like I said, it's not itchy at all. It's pretty. So I got three of those. And that's plenty. See, busted labels again. I hate that so bad. You, I know I'm just being kind of finicky, but I can't stand busted labels. I can't stand when they ship in bags like that. So I got three of those. But like I said, I'll wait till that goes a little cheaper before I buy that again. I think I was expecting a big, big thing. By looking at the picture on their side, it looks like it's going to be a big ball of yarn. But I still like it. Just I, I probably wouldn't have paid that much knowing what it was at the time. Um... And then I got, let's see, some of this, uh, actually a lot of this yarn I've, I've never had before. I wanted to get a uh, yarn that I've never had and try it out. So this is their Starlight yarn. If you follow them on Instagram or Facebook, you've probably seen them show this off before. It's a reflective yarn. And when it's when you're outside with it and it hits the lights, it shines. It's similar to Red Heart Reflective, if you've ever seen that. So when a light shines on it at night, it, it glows because it has that reflective streamer in it. Now, it is... Uh, um, it has to have wool in it, I can tell. Um... It's a medium weight number four. Yeah, 60% wool, 25 polyamide, and 15% reflective. So it's it's wool filling. Um, I don't know. It would be a stiff scarf. I think this would be good for a hat, a reflective hat, a reflective bag, um, something like that. I think is what it would be good for. It's a uh, machine wash, lay flat. Um, regular, these are eight bucks. It's super overpriced, um, if you ask me, 70 yards. But right now, they have them on sale for 370. I think they've been on sale for quite a while because they realize no one's gonna pay eight dollars for them. I don't, I don't know. I just think that that's super. Eight dollars is super overpriced. 370 is not that bad for it being 60% um, wool. But I like it. It's pretty. I'm happy with it. Um, the color I got is called Rust. So I'll probably end up making a hat or a bag out of this. And maybe when I do the video or tutorial, I'll show you what it looks like um, under the lights. Dark reflect. You know, I think it's light activated or something. And then at night, if a car, if you're jogging or something at night, you know, maybe make a wristband or something. I don't, I don't know. And, um it'll glow but yeah i got four of those something i wanted to try it because i always seen them with their ads and on instagram and you know how they always get you with their ads all these yarn companies do they get me anyways <laughs> um i'm i'm mad about that i'm like oh, i gotta have that instagram show me this new ad or facebook show me this new ad Okay, now this is their Twister Yarn Solid. I don't know if you guys are familiar with their Twisters. It's actually a pretty popular yarn of theirs. This is their Solid um, version of them. And they are smaller. Um, and they are one solid strand of yarn. Some of their Twisters are, and, um, are four strands. But this is a solid strand. It appears to be about a sport weight number two. And it is machine wash lay flat, 437 yards per cake, 55 cotton, 45 acrylic, the same as the regular twisters, but the regular twisters have oh, like almost 1100 yards as opposed to 437. Now, um, right now, these run regular 949. Right now, they're on sale for $8. I paid uh I think I paid five forty nine when I bought these. I know they were five something when I bought them because I never would have paid eight bucks for them because I knew they were so small. But 
they're good to they match up with if you or guys are familiar with the uh their twister brand yarn the solids i think uh match up with their variegated so i don't know but i got these three colors i thought they kind of folly looking put them together and make a nice pretty shawl what do you guys think yeah i think so I know, like I said, I've never had the, I mean, I've had the, I got plenty of the twisters. I just never had these small solids before. And they all, they got an easy pull string in the middle. That's always helpful. But I wouldn't pay $8 for them. Make sure you get them when they're on sale. Um, okay. Okay, now this is their Happy Feet XL yarn. It's 75 super wash wool. Um... 20, 25% nylon. Mm. Man, I love the smell of wool so much. Wool's my favorite. So it's not really like super soft, but it's not itchy where it's going to be bothersome. You could wear, I could wear a, a scarf out of it. It wouldn't bother me. Um, it is machine wash. You're going to want to lay it flat because of that wool content. Um, and there's 106 meters. So what's that? Probably close to 115 yards of yarn. 116 yards. That's just what it says. And that's per skein. And it is a medium weight number four. Now these run. They got lots of different colors in these too. 460 normal. I bought them on sale for 280 and they're still on sale right now. Um, not a bad price considering it's seventy five percent superwash wool. The collar's really pretty. I like the collar. Universe is the color I chose. So one hundred and sixteen yards, and I think I got three of those, which should be enough for me to make what I want to make with it. No, no. I got four. Ah, oh, it's got a busted label. Mm. You know what? I'm going to tell them they need to start shipping in boxes. That's so frustrating. I'm being petty. I know it, but <laughs> that's one of my... I'm being petty, but that's my pet peeve, is not shipping in a box because it busts all my labels open. I hate it. I can't stand it. Drives me bonkers. Okay, this... Ooh, that's pretty stuff right here. So I can't really pronounce it. Jaipur? I don't know what that is. J-A-I-P-U-R. So it's a 100% acrylic. It says it's a lightweight three. I would be in agreement with that, but it is on the thicker side of a lightweight three, between a three and a four. Um, 404 yards per skein. That is a very generous amount of yarn. Um, now these run $7.49 regular and they were $6.30 when I bought them. $6.30. They still are. I don't think that's a bad price for the yardage you get. And that's really pretty yarn. Look at it. Um, machine wash. Uh, says lay flat. I don't understand why you would need to lay it flat, it being 100% acrylic, but, you know, you might, I hand wash and lay flat all my stuff anyway, so that doesn't bother me, but I know some people just don't have the time to hand wash and lay flat, or the space either. But, uh, the color I got here is called Quilt. I think the color, the name, got me for this one. It just, it did it kind of remind me of those old-fashioned crazy quilts, you know, they used to make, like, in the Victorian area. era. I wish I had one of those. Ugh. My mother-in-law has one of them old crazy quilts. They are so pretty. I seen one in, at an auction one time. Now I'm talking about quilts. <laughs> and it was old. Old, but it was in good shape. But, man, it just went way over my price range. But, anyways, I got three of these at 404 yards piece, so I've definitely got enough to make something very pretty with that. I like that. I do. Now, it's not, it's not an itchy acrylic. It's not, it's softer than Red Heart Super Saver. I would compare it to Red Heart with love if I was going to compare it to a yarn. So that's the Japur, Japur, 
I don't know how you spell it or how you say it. J-A-I-P-U-R. Very pretty. Ne never had that before. Okay, I got a little bit left here. Um, okay, I'm never going to be able to pronounce this. Letopi. Let, 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 I'll let you guys pronounce that. I don't know. Anyways, this is 100% uh, uh, virgin wool. Now, if you know me, I love wool. It's my favorite. I love brown wool. It's even better. So this being 100% virgin wool, this is not going to be something that you want to wear on your neck. Unless you're wearing like a turtleneck or something. Um, a hat would be very nice with this. And that is actually what I bought it for to make a hat with it. So, um, there's 109 yards per ball. You're going to want a hand wash machine or hand wash and lay flat, lay flat. Pure new wool is what it says. Icelandic wool. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's neat. I, I've never had this before ever. I, I really like it. So it's $4.99 regular. They have it on sale for $4.50 right now. Um, considering what it is. It's not a bad price, I don't think. It's uh, medium weight number four. You can see how it appears that it looks like it might be itchy. But hat would be fine for me. I bought it to make a hat for myself. That was my intentions all along. The color I have is called Rust Heather. Got a lot of rusty color stuff today, didn't I? I don't know. I got just got a few more here. Okay, let's see. Now, this is something I have always wanted to try from them, and I never ever bought it before. Every time I went to place an order, I looked at it, and I never bought it because it was always I always thought it was just too much money. Um. But this time I did buy it, and I still think that I paid, I don't know. I think I paid too much for it. I have seen it cheaper than what I paid for it. But man, I just wanted to, to feel it. I just wanted to try it so bad. This is their dream color, 100% wool. And I'm a wool, I love wool. I mean, I do a lot. And I always looked at it on their site, and then they had a bunch of new colors, and I'm like, they're just tempting me. So, there's 437 yards in this skein, and it appears to be about a two-weight or a thin three-weight yarn. Um, you can wash in cold. Of course, you're going to want to lay it flat because it's wool. It says it's a number five, number two. Yeah, or sport number two. Yeah. Um, it does get thicker, so it goes from thick to thin in some spots, but... That is pretty. So price wise, let's see, 437 yards uh, between a two and a three weight. It's regular 12.49. That's really pricey. Um, I paid 10.10 and I still think that I paid too much for it. But I have seen it before at $7. Why I didn't buy it at that time, I don't know. But they do have it at different prices all the time. But I just wanted to get it. Look at the colors in that. Aren't that, isn't that pretty? These are the same. It's supposed to be the same. Yeah, they are. That is pretty yarn. The tweed, this one looks more tweedier, but I think the tweed is... There's more tweed inside here. So, just the way it came off the roll. But yeah, the tweed is in the middle of that one. And the solid is probably in the middle of this one. I I like it a lot. It's very pretty. I won't pay that much again for it. But, um, I do wish it matched a little better. You know, this one's more of solid looking than this. But like I said, it's probably the way it came off the roll. Some of it's solid and it goes to tweed. Doesn't help though when you're making... And you only need a couple skeins and your project doesn't match very well, but 
I think it's super pretty. I, I'll buy it again when it's on sale. Oh gosh, they have the prettiest colors in this. If you guys check it out. So many pretty ones. And they sell out easily. This one's called Speed of Light. I like it. I do... <laughs> I feel bad that I paid that much for it. Because I normally don't try not to overpay for yarn. But sometimes there's a yarn that I just can't help myself. And I overpay for it. What can you do, huh? Yarn addicts, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, let me move on. Oh, there's a couple. Okay, now here's another one that I've never had. This is their Dolce. Dolce? Dolce? I can't say it. I can't say it. Sock wool. It's 75% superwash wool, 25% polyamide. Wool. It smells so good. Oh, I like it. So that's, it's pretty. Um, it's about a two weight yarn. It says it's a number one. No. I think it's more like a uh, sport weight number two. But, let's see. 459 yards. You know. You can machine wash. You're not going to want to put it in the dryer. 75 Because of the wool content. 75% super wash wool. 25 polyamide. That's pretty. That's pretty stuff. So they had a couple colors that I really had a hard time choosing from. So I got these right here. Which I do have plans for. Um, this is just the colors called class. Wait, that's not it. This one's called Airy Blue. That is pretty. Now, I have a shawl in mind for this. And I have like... Uh, 900 yards. Over 900 yards here. Of a two weight. That's plenty for me to make a shawl. That's my... Um, what I bought this for. It's very, very pretty. It's wool. But... I wouldn't hesitate to wear it around my neck. It's still, you know, it's not going to be soft like cashmere. But it's still not an itchy wool. And here's the other color. I just could not decide. I only bought one of these to make a scarf with. You know, what you do when you can't decide what color you want. You get both of them. You get both of them. <laughs> That's what I do. Anyways, I, should, I shouldn't do that. But anyways... Um, I got this one to make. Now, this collar is called Basil. That is so pretty. Now, these run $14.99 a skein normal. They have them um, for $8.70 right now. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I mean, it sounds expensive. Um, I don't know. But it's not as expensive as this one being 10 something I don't know. I just, I don't know. Wool. It just got me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes things just get me. And then I'm like, I can't help myself. I just have to get it. It was so pretty. As soon as I, I like that brand. That, I can't say it. Is that Dolce, Dolce or something? I have some of their Dolce cashmere wool off this site. And it's probably some of the most expensive expensive yarn that I own. It's actually right there. I don't, I haven't used it yet, but it's so pretty. It's so, it's really soft and I really loved it and I knew I would like it. It's a really nice brand of yarn. Okay. I got just a couple more. Okay. I also have a thing for sequence yarn or anything sparkly. So this one got me right off. Very pretty. This is their Mayflower Shine. Ain't that pretty. Now, this is made up of four strands of yarn um, that equal up to be about a two-weight yarn. It's 48 cotton, 48 acrylic with sequence. Um... 
There's not as much yardage as I thought there was more yardage in the, than that. Okay, oh, there it is. There's 875 yards, it says. It does not say that here. On the side, it says 800 meters. Here, it says 500. So, I don't know which one it is. If it's 875 or if it's 500. My guess would be it's probably the 875. I hope so anyways. Because, <laughs> um, so this is, uh, you're going to want to hand wash this. They have about four colors available in it. Um, and this one's called Ocean. This is going to be a shawl. Now, now that I look at what I bought, I'm actually kind of ashamed of myself. But this was, not, this isn't one of their cheaper yarns. Um, these run $34 regular. Don't pay $34 because you'll find them on sale. Right now it says $22.50. When I bought it, it was $19.50. So, um, which is still, it's expensive. But it's a gorgeous yarn. One skein will make you a very, very pretty shawl. I mean, just think of it sparkling when the light, that shimmering when the light, night on a town. Mm. That was expensive. Okay, I got one more thing to show you. Now, hobby, people tell me about hobbies, cotton. They always ask me about it. Some people have told me about it being real nice. I had never tried it before. So I got one of their hobby mystery packs, um, yarn mystery packs. So, um, I don't know. I've never felt it before or anything. I've only gone off what people have told me that it's really nice cotton. So the mystery rainbow cotton. Mystery bag rainbow. Now their, their cotton comes in 8 slash 8 or 8 slash 4. Now I think 8 slash 8 it's the weight of it. I think it's what it is. That's sad. I've never felt this before. I've, ha I've heard good reviews about it. But... Now the 8 slash 8, it has an easy pull, is about a 4 weight yarn. And the 8 slash 4, I think someone told me it was like a 2 weight. Um, so... It's 100% uh, cotton. Oh, it says it's a lightweight three. Uh, it's like a four. It's That's pretty thick three if you ask me. Um, machine wash. Don't dry because it's cotton, I guess. 82 yards per skein. Well... I have heard good reviews about it. Now, I had a lot of cotton run through my hands during during my years of crochet. And I got one, two, three, four, five, ten skeins here. They're regular, they're $32. But I got them on sale for $16 for ten skeins. And that's 82 yards. It's not a rough cotton at all. You could definitely uh, make garments with it. Is it the softest cotton I've ever felt? No, not at all. I felt cotton that was way softer than this. And my, I'm not saying anything bad about it. Um, I like it. I'll use it. I think it'll make beautiful garments. But like I said, it's not a silky soft cotton. But it's, it's not anything you'd want to probably waste. You spend that much money on. You're probably, I don't know. You're probably not going to want to make wash rags out of it or anything. You probably want to make a nice top or something. I think it's overpriced. My opinion. Will I buy it again? No. I won't buy it again. Do I like it? Yes. Yes, of course I do. But I could get nicer cotton for cheaper elsewhere. But there's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. Because I know a lot of people like this cotton. Because they told me. And that's cool if you do right on. I like it too. It's very pretty. I mean it's super pretty cotton. Look at the colors. But. In my opinion. In silver price for the amount of yardage you get. And like I said. It's. I felt 
uh, way softer cotton than this. But it's not not soft. You could definitely make a top out of it. But nothing extra extraordinary about it. It's just uh, like a mediocre cotton to me, in my opinion. I know this is a lot of people have asked me to review this. So this is my review on this hobby cotton. This is the AA print. It's mediocre to me. I wouldn't use it for a wash rack. It's too good for that. But you could definitely use it for a top. It's great. would be great for that. Not the softest I've ever felt. Definitely not the roughest. It's in between. It's overpriced for the amount of yardage that you get. My opinion. But I won't buy it. I won't buy it again because of the cost. And because, because I can get better cotton for cheaper elsewhere. So, but I do like it. More than likely, this will probably go on a giveaway. Not that I don't want to use it. It's just, uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys would like to use it more than me. Because I do have a lot softer cotton in my collection than this. But it's still nice. I like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But that's it. Anyways, with Hobby, you always get something free in your bag. Uh, this time I got a stitch marker. Sometimes it's a needle, something small. And then you get some um, candy from Denmark. It's always, it's cherry flavored. Cherry flavored, ah, uh, dropped that one. I got two. It's cherry flavored heart candy. It's good. So that's it. Um, now that I look at it all, I think that uh, some of it was overpriced. And I probably shouldn't pay that much for it. Did it. Done. Can't do nothing about it now. Um, some of this will go for giveaways. Um, some of it I'm, I have plans for. So that's my unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. I'm super, I'm happy with everything that I got. I mean, there's not none of it that I don't like. I was, this I expected it to be a little bit better than what it was. This rainbow cotton. I expected it to be like a silky cotton and it's just not that. It just didn't live up to my expectations of what I expected it to be. But it's, it's still, it's not it's cotton. It's just not one I'm going to buy again. But that's it. My favorite though, the bunch. Oh, it has to be this one. I can't wait to make something with this. I don't know. I like this too. Both colors of it. Mm. This is gorgeous too. How can you not say that's not pretty? Oh man, and these... Those are so pretty. I don't know what my favorite is. I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I love it all. So thanks everybody for watching. Hey, you probably see some of the stuff in the giveaway because I'm running out of room. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing. I'm going to put uh, on the right hand side of the screen. If you look, you're going to see some other unboxings that I did. If you like to watch that type of thing. I got some more unboxings from Hobby that I've that I bought from them uh, several times before. So if you want to check them out, you go right ahead. There's a playlist of other stores too. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Bye.